Hi guys, welcome to a new video series we're having for Gridiron Studios. Uh, I'm Mark. Uh, a lot of you guys have uh, had a lot of questions about how these products fit on the figures, which figures we use in our pictures. Uh, I'm hoping this series kind of helps out. And if you're new to Gridiron in general, this might give you an insight on what products we use and how we uh, how we've made the products and where, where our intent was when we designed them. So without any further ado, let me get started. The figure we used for the Roadhog set that just recently came out, this was kind of an obviously a uh, Road Warrior inspired set. Um, you can tell with the spikes and the old football gear. Uh, this also kind of wrapped up our Gridiron collection football themed uh, items through the month of October. There'll be a lot more coming, but this was kind of the the, uh, the finish of this wave. Uh, so start off, we picked this big body from Gung Ho. Um, it had a good thick torso. Uh, looked good. You know, you rip out that vest. He's got a good, you know, muscly body for a good Road Warrior figure. I think the gloves added a good touch. I dirtied him up a little bit. I usually don't go, you know, really crazy on the customs. Um, I like to make it where it, it still seems attainable, you know, where there's some great customizers out there. And I think sometimes if you don't customize at all, it can be taxing, you know, it could, it can make you uh, be a little intimidating to even start. So I try to make it with a pretty, pretty simple base figure. This gung ho was awesome. This, this, you know, this was a nice big body. Uh, I know there was a lot of you know, issues about this particular figure when it came out. I've, I've enjoyed photographing it. I think it has a, uh, has a lot of capabilities for photos. Um, a lot of guys have, you know, had questions about my, you know, Ventura head. Uh, I used some green stuff and kind of just sculpted a jaw and a chin. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of just a custom I did when we did the, uh, old painless gun setup. But for this figure, I chose a better fit really to the helmet because this head's a little big for the helmet. Uh, but Zartan's head, and this is still a nice, easy head to, you know, that you can obtain. Uh, the figure's still available. Um, it still fits on there. It gives you a little smaller build. Great for scale with the helmet. So with this helmet, we kind of chose to, you know, create this, you know, dr really light dry brush over black. You know, gave it kind of a... Uh, Road Warrior feel to it, I guess. And then we went with the heavy silver on the spikes. So you got that real contrast. Um, the fit on this R10 head's awesome. It just kind of snaps right on. Ears sit in there really good. You can kind of position how you want to with the with the eyes. I love how the eyes have all the, you know, the black makeup around. Kind of has a little football throwback feel to me. We chose the face mask with the full open uh Eye line instead of having that bar in the middle like we did with the uh, ice box set. So if any of you have that, you can kind of notice that change in the face mask. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how we did the head. Um, so pretty simple. This one has kind of an all-inclusive gear shoulder pad, you know, setup with the loadout. This we chose to do a split, so it and it has a nice little flex in it. So you don't have to worry about it being brittle. It's kind of, and, and also it's still really nice and rigid, but it has a, it has a nice little squeeze that, that really likes a snug fit around the torso. So we really like that setup. It fits on the smaller figures as well. Even ones that have like vests, you know, it'll still kind of, if you get it kind of set up, it'll go around a vest even. So just kind of depends on what kind of look you're wanting. And how big you want your figure to kind of be but we like the uh we like the snap fit on this big torso um as far as this goes everything in here all the details are sculpted in um there's some really nice you know cool details with the bolts for the crossbow the wrist crossbow um we also designed a kind of a, a lever action here for the ammo box and this ammo box was designed specifically for these shoulder pad sets so we we created some now when you get this set most likely this will already be on but if you wanted to take it off i wanted to at least show you how that worked um there's kind of this little slanted thing it, it has a really nice fit slips in right under the the collar and it's it's nice man it's a really really great designed fit so 
Um, that's the sh that's the ammo box on the back, and also comes with the sleeve for the weapons. Um, with the ice box, if any of you that have that set, this shoulder pad has this same ammo box set up. You'll notice, you know, this works really nice for the football nunchuck uh, chain get up, and then it also um, does really good for the 30 cal barrel slides in there. So with this setup, we got, you know, we gave him kind of the throwback NOM era cutoff uh, 60. Um, it really kind of had a cool, you know, we loved how there's no sights. This was just kind of fired from the hip, cut down on the, uh, on the stock. Um, just, just a really kind of rudimentary heavy, you know, or I guess a light support weapon, but um, really fit this figure very well. And I think it had a Road Bull Warrior feel to it. We threw a band on there, so you have a, a way to hold on to his torso. You know, you can throw that around as a sling. Um, you know, we use a very flexible uh, ammo belt with almost all of our heavy weapons. Um, so don't be afraid. These, these, the worst that'll happen with these is they'll rip, but you know, if you're not sitting there yanking on it, you should be fine. We put these things through a lot of, a lot of uh, hell with uh, you know, the way we take pictures and form stuff and, you know, shows and everything else. And they do real well. But that was the gun setup for him. We wanted to make sure he had a nice heavy weapon. Um, so, and then his other weapon was a wrist crossbow, which definitely had that Road Warrior feel to it. You'll notice we have our two-sided mounting tape, just that normal 3M tape we use on everything. Uh, what we always used on our backpacks. Um, we still do sometimes, but... It works really nice for some of these little small accessories. Um, does really well on fitting on the arm. So I'll show you how that goes on. So just getting this on easy. This is nice. It has a good flex, but you're going to feel there's a good rigidity in there. So when you pop it over his head, just slide it down his body and it's going to snap on. It's a really nice, um, nice fit over that head and everything. So just snap that on. You get this kind of good look of a kind of you know bare chested road warrior dude so he's kind of all set up helmet snaps on over this those big ears Zartan has but I like them man because they, they make it where you can adjust that helmet really nice for the the eye line um, so you can kind of do some different stuff there if you want that visor down low if you want his eyes to kind of be creeping up through the top you have some options there um, but very easy to set up and display. So that's the chest helmet. You see where that ammo box is already fitted really nice. Um, as far as the belt, so we put two ports down here so you can choose whichever side you'd like for the, uh, for the uh, ammo belt to be coming out of. I usually like this side, it kinda, kinda rolls nice on the figure. Um, I always kinda tend to have that belt come across that back side. But that's really a preference. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want with that. As far as the sling goes, so this thing will wrap. You can wrap it around his neck. You can wrap it around his collar. You can do kind of whatever you want with that. What you're trying to do is just get it around his hand. So then he has kind of a, a good, you know, you know, where he can kind of set. That can hold up tight up front. Um, I like it because I'll stick it behind his back if he's holding his his melee weapon. I'll kind of have him set up like that. Speaking of the melee weapon, we've got a good concrete block here with a spike on top. Um, the interesting part with this was we did a, a handle, the grip of this. We took our survival knife. So it's it's kind of funny. There's actually the, the little survival equipment. If you unscrew that, you'd have that in real life. This would be that you know place where the little matches are. So we thought that was kind of funny on the back of a you know, rudimentary melee weapon, but it looked cool. It kind of had, it, it pulled up in the dry brush real nice. So then you can snap this into his hand. He holds that real nice. You can do a double handed effect. If I can get his hand in here, let's see. Okay, got him. That really kind of gives you a really good base effect. 
Um, so I kind of like it because that 60 kind of can sit back behind his back like that. It's really nice. I wish we had a better way to do the 60 in the hole, but you know, you can't win them all. This was, we found this was kind of our best way to do it on him um, and not, you know, have to change this part and we can still use this for the ice box and that, that worked good for him. So the cool part is, is it does work for, for his uh, little cinder block club it fits really nice in that back slot so as far as that rigging goes it does really good um, the 60 obviously fits really well in his hand it's a good fit for this size of character um, and has a has a good I kind of widen that hand a little bit and get around that grip but you can kind of see that's a it's a really nice fit for him and and it's an easy loadout. That, that's what's kind of nice about this. You don't have to do too much to this. If if you want to set this up the same way, you know, basically you're gonna have to get a little smaller head because that gung ho head is a little big for this helmet. Um, we try to keep this helmet a little closer to scale to a real, um, the real scale of those human heads and where they can still fit a broader range of figures. So, um, but that Zartan head really fits good in there and it looks really nice with the with the eye makeup. So yeah, so that's it. That's the setup there. The last thing we had, we had a little canteen. There's a peg here on the back. We got a little hole. So the canteen's kind of a cool little attachment. You figure this guy's running around on his motorcycle or whatever. He's gonna need a drink or something. So he's got himself a little canteen back there. And then last one at least, hopefully I can get this easily enough. So all you gotta do is pull back on that pull back on that little red tape you got a little two-sided mounting tape in there you kind of figure out where you want it I kind of like it just kind of on the top so if he's holding the gun it's kind of down a little bit but it fits really nice it stays nice and snug with a couple flexes of his arm you know you kind of get that you get that little wide out shot like he's taken crossbow but you know this and the, the cool part about this mounting tape is it has a couple movements you can make a couple different position changes without it losing its adhesive so if, if you like it to be a little closer in you can do that you can a little closer to his wrist but looks real nice on him definitely takes you back to those 80s road warrior movies for sure um but yeah so that's that is the simple layout for the for the Roadhog loadout. So, if any of you guys got these uh, in this last weekend promotion, these are all starting to ship out. I think we're actually shipping them out today, uh, but they'll be shipping all week. And um, hopefully, you guys get these in hand real soon. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning into the video. We'll try to have a lot more of these. I'll, I'll try to get them more entertaining. You know, we're still looking at parts and trying to figure out what's best. So. I appreciate you guys. Uh, like always, thanks for the support. And, you know, if you guys see these numbers on these cards, feel free to give us a call. Instagram, gridiron underscore studio. Um, just give us a ring. Thanks, guys. Take care.